Coming up now, we have Target Team Adrian. As we have another match in the rankings for the WDD Tag Team Championships. As we have SCU, Scorpio Sky and Frankie Gazarian taking on the Lucha Brothers. Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. also known as Penta L0M. The winners of this match will go on to face Will Ospreay and Okada. Chaos. Once again, the winners going on to face Chaos, so without further ado, let's get this match started. This match was recorded back when Pentagon Jr. and Ray Phoenix were still the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Plenty at stake here, guys, despite the title not being on the line. For these guys tonight, it's all about ego and pride. And sometimes, those two things can be the ultimate motivator. Here we go, folks, oh. as we kick off this tag team match. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. Oh, suplex. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. Ooh, what impact. Uh -oh. Here it comes, Michael. Byron, you should try this once. One night stand. No thanks. What are we gonna see here? Oh man, right to the neck. Just rake in the face. Now that's not right. Somebody do something about that. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. 
If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match, and your opponents are playing catch-up. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double counter. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. With Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Oh, come on, not like this. This is not how I wanted to see this end. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Here are your winners, Frankie Kazarian and Scorpion Skew. A very decisive victory here tonight. Oh, come on. That's garbage. Nobody wants a count out. Get them back in the ring, and let's restart this thing. I'd be curious to see how this win impacts the rest of the tag team division. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. You know, even though the title is not on the line, this is still an important match for the champ. He can't afford to show any weakness here. Nice calf kick, great elevation. What a stomp, good grief. Focused attack on the back. Leg drop. What a stomp, good grief. From behind. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have... Look out, look out! This could be it! He's definitely starting to lose it here. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. What a close line! Ouch! 
Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. A few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's fought. He might have sweet rolling Savat kick. Nice. Shot it. There's a pin now. He's got some fight left in him. Too soon. Oh, look at this. Raining down sharp elbows. Showing off some of his speed there. Across the shoulders. Down! Samoan driver. Now he's got a capital. The shoulders are down. And there's still plenty of fight left. Uh-uh. Oh, close line. Irish whip. This might be it. Oh, my. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. He has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Well, he's certainly looking a little worse for wear, but that doesn't mean you should count him out just yet. I'm sure there's plenty of fight still left in him. You gotta believe this one's over. Gets the tag. Ooh, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. Quick thinking to avoid that one. Extend your elbow. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. When this guy's on, look out. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Looking for a sweet rolling Zavak kick. This is his opportunity to win this thing. The first one was vicious, but somehow this one was even more devastating. Here he goes. Big time impact from way up high. 
Game, set, ma He goes for the cover. One. Now watch this. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! He has him right where he wants him. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, and he releases the hold. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. Across the shoulders. Down, Samoan driver. Wow, I'm just as surprised as... Here he goes for the win! And he blows it out. the tag oh he's almost there oh and he makes the tag that was a game changer right there michael talk about having the living hell beat out of you this could be the end of him at any moment right now things have really gone from bad to worse for him here guys he's gonna need to make a tag sooner rather than later vicious knee been surprised if that was it. Wow. There is no quit in this man tonight. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And you got to believe this one's over. But he's got to capitalize now. What a strike. Right on the mark. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Great effort from both these teams, guys. But at this point, both sides look to be struggling here. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. He wants no part of the outside. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Oh, my goodness, crushing it. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. I'll tell you what, this is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker School, that's for sure. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, look at this. Setting him up. Beautiful. 
physical technique. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm gonna lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. He's making a statement here with this attack. This is not how you want to see a matchup like this end. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. Oh, I can't believe this. I remember this part very well. Here are your winners. Big time tag team match underway here. And he's a proud guy. That title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. And then this might be it. Oh, my. Made. I cross body. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is do create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Uh -oh. The all harsh impact. Ooh. Boom, what impact. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. Nailed it. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. the face destroyed. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a mock kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to... Oh no, we know what this is. Moonsault! Now that's what I call... He's going for the pin. 
He got body on body there, but that's about it. It's gonna take more than that. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Harsh impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. If it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call. But all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. Scoop slam! He's looking a little weary here. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. He's taken on some damage, but so is his opponent. This match can go either way at this point. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply. And turn Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In the tag match, oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Close line. What a strike. He's resilient, but he may not be doing himself any longer. He goes for the cover. You're not going to win many matches that easily. He needs to change something fast, guys. He dodges out of the way. Gets the tag. Oh, what impact! And only a one count. Too soon. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh boy, he is rolling. In off the tag. I am back crossbody. Time to flip it. Oh, switch. This might be the opportunity he needed. Battle knock. This could do it. And he doesn't stay down for long. Way too early. Looking at it here. Oh, the old whipper snapper. Got every ounce of that one. This could be. He could do it here. This battle's not over yet. Might have slipped there, Cole. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. He's running on fumes right now. It might be smart for him to make a tag. You'd have to think his partner has a little more gas in the tank. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Driver. 
That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Will he be victorious? All the way up and around the world. What an incredible tag team contest. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. Check them out here. Man, oh man, look at that. Remember this? He really put on a great show. Here are the winners, Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr., the Lucha Brothers. Now the Lucha Brothers will go on to face Chaos. And whoever wins between the Lucha Brothers and Chaos will face off against the Golden Lovers in the number one contenders match for the WDD Tag Team Championships. Plus we have plenty more matches still to come. Some more women's matches and some more singles matches still to come. Thanks for watching this WWE 2K19 video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Please note I am taking requests for any matches that you would like to see me do in 2K19. You can pick between any wrestler on the roster apart from these wrestlers. You can't pick Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, Edge and Christian and JBL. Those following wrestlers are banned from ever appearing on my channel. That's one of the reasons why I don't do story modes or my career modes in these video games on my channel. Please note you can pick anyone apart from the ones I just said and all DLC is okay as long as it isn't someone I banned. And please leave a comment down below to uh, let me know what you think of the match and if you have any suggestions on uh, matches that you'd like to see as I previously said and also please leave nice comments down below because if you don't uh, leave uh, nice comments or you leave spam comments I will warn you and then keep doing it and then you will be banned from ever commenting on my channel and lately I've been seeing everyone having this same profile picture and going around saying oh yeah oh yeah and uh, if you comment that if you comment down below and uh, that's your profile picture then sorry your comment will be deleted and your comment won't count towards proper comment and also uh, untainted SKS both versions of my alter ego and both versions of uh, my normal self are available to download on the PS4 community creations uh, only available on the PS4 uh, I hope to see you in the next video of mine please note I have plenty of matches coming and uh, like I said if you have any suggestions please leave a comment down below but just follow my rules before you comment down below you can follow me on Twitter if you want to just search Untainted SAS on Twitter and my Twitter should appear and also I do have a Facebook page don't join the group because the group is wrong I uh, can't get back into it if anyone knows how they get back into it let me know and uh, but do follow the page if you would like to and also follow me on Twitter thanks for watching this WWE 2K19 video I hope to see you in the next one